Hey guys, so let's talk about the difference between argon CO2 mixed gas and 100% CO2 gas for MIG welding on carbon steel. Or I should say short circuit MIG welding on carbon steel. So these are your two main choices for welding, uh, for this type of welding. And they do have quite a bit of differences. Uh, one is cost, 100% um, CO2 gas is going to be uh, a lot less expensive than argon CO2 mixes. But it's gonna give you some different properties in terms of the penetration that you're getting, the appearance of the weld, um, the amount of spatter that you're getting, and things like that. So that's why you'll see that argon CO2 mixes, such as 75-25% argon CO2 mix, is kind of the go-to for both industry and if you just walk into a welding supply and say, I need, I need gas for MIG welding, most likely that's what they're going to suggest or give to you. But you do have the option for 100% CO2. 100% CO2 is going to give you a deeper penetration profile, so it actually has more heat input into the weld pool. Um, but it does give you sort of a mottled appearance to the weld um, and more spatter. Um, it also has a harsher, more um, unstable arc, whereas argon CO2 mixes are going to give you a softer, more kind of fluttery arc um, with less spatter. So uh, let's go ahead and let's actually run two beads and then we'll take a look at the difference in uh, the way the arc performs and the appearance of the weld afterwards. All right, so the first one that we're gonna do is the argon CO2 mix. So we're using 75-25% uh, argon CO2 mix. And we're just going to, for simplicity's sake, we're gonna use the uh, recommended um, settings for quarter inch material for the Millermatic 252 that we're using. So for this weld, it recommends 21 volts and 375 wire feed speed. So that's what we're gonna use. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I'll reiterate a little bit about the argon CO2 mix. This is what we would want to use if a uh, um, weld appearance is very uh, important to us. And then also we have to think about that penetration profile. So if we're uh, welding on some very thin material like sheet metal, uh, we may have some difficulty um, with 100% CO2 versus this argon CO2 mix in terms of penetration blowing through the material, that sort of thing. So um, we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. I'm gonna put down a two inch weld here. And I'm gonna try to keep the, the, um, the weld size similar on both of these welds so that we can compare them side by side. All right, so now we're gonna put down the 100% CO2 gas uh, weld bead. And you know, one thing to keep in mind with 100% CO2 or any time that we're using a reactive gas like CO2 is that it is actually adding things to the weld pool. It's adding elements to the weld pool. So in this case, uh, we wouldn't wanna be using this on stainless steel because we're gonna be actually adding carbon to uh, the weld pool itself. So just something to keep in mind, of course, this video is on carbon steel. So these would be our two choices for carbon steel, mixed gas and 100% CO2. So let's get after it and put down the bead with 100% CO2. Now my settings on this one are a little bit different. The recommended settings for the Miller Matic 252 for 100% CO2 on quarter inch material is 22.2 and 290 uh, wire feed speed.
All right, so we can see the difference in appearance between the two, this being the argon CO2 mix and this being the 100% CO2. We can see we have a much smoother bead here, um, you know, just a better uh, surface look than compared to the 100% CO2 where we have sort of a, a rougher look to the bead with these little striations on the surface. Um, one other big difference that we'll have between the two, which you really can't see here, is um, a difference in spatter. We're going to have a lot more spatter with the 100% CO2 versus the argon CO2 mix. So this is why we see argon CO2 mix used a lot more for automotive applications, body work, things like that, because of the lack of spatter and the overall uh, better appearance. All right, so hopefully this video is going to give you some insight on what you can choose between argon CO2 mix and 100% CO2. Uh, for, you know, if you're building something at home and the, uh, you know, the appearance of it really doesn't matter, and, uh, but cost is a factor, then 100% CO2 might be a better choice for you. But if it's something that uh, the appearance does matter, and just the um, overall kind of uh, user-friendly uh, type of thing that you get from argon CO2 is, is something that is attractive to you, then that might be a better choice. All right, so uh, we'll catch you on the next well.